Welcome everyone, here is how you split screen multitask on your iPad. So I'll first cover the regular split screen, you know, two apps on the side, maybe three applications total. And then I'll cover how to use the stage manager and this stage manager will take your split screen to the next level. So keep in mind the regular split screen uh, does support all devices. So if you have any device, you're good to go. But stage manager only supports iPad Pro 2018 and newer or iPad Air 4 and newer, okay? No other iPad model is supported. So I have timestamps for both. I recommend if you have an iPad Pro, you watch the full video. If you have an older iPad, you know, you don't have stage manager, just watch the first part of the split screen tutorial. So with regular split screen, in order to do it, the first step is you open up the first app of choice and then you need to select the second app. So you can either slide up partially and you'll see all of these apps in your dock and you can simply drag and drop the second app either on the far right or the far left and you can see the split screen will be initiated that is the first way however if you don't have an app in your dock you can go to the home screen find that second application let's say notability long press and drag okay so if i do that again long press and then drag and with another finger open multitasking select the first app you want to split screen and then release on the far left or right hand side and then we have done the split screen like so on top of this we can do up to three application split screen however do keep in mind that you can only have two applications left and right and with the third app you drag and drop in the center and now we have this pop-out view right here okay and with this pop-out view we can move this left to right like so you can also add uh, multiple applications in this view and where this white bar is you slide up and hold you can then quickly switch between the apps you place in the pop-out view like so if you tap on the triple dots here you do have the option to make the application full screen place it in the split view so we have the left split or right split choose right split and it replaces the app you also have triple dots for all of the other applications you have in split screen okay and you can choose you know slide over which is having that partial view you can select the full screen view we can close the application entirely on top of this an easier way to do a split screen is when you have the first app open up and you see the triple dots you can slide down and then push the far left or far right hand side and then when you do that, you can easily select any application from your home screen. So I choose tips, boom, and then you can see that will initiate a split screen. And that is an easier method, or slightly easier than going to the home page, long pressing on the app, then going into multitasking. You can see it's a little bit of a process. Uh, if you do the method with the triple dots, where you slide down, far left, far right, tap on the app, that is a lot easier to do. That's the regular split screen. However, with iPad Pro M2, things are taken to the uh, next level with the stage manager. So in order to access the stage manager, you're gonna slide down from the far right hand side of the screen and you're gonna see the stage manager icon. When we tap on this, stage manager is now on. So inside the stage manager, you're gonna notice we have this different split screen view. I wanna start from scratch. So you can see my application here is full screen. This is what you will see. But now we have this little uh, black curve or white curve, depending on the background. So we're going to slide up and to the left if it's on the right hand side, and then slide up to the right if it's on the right hand side. Keep on sliding and then release when you see a view like this. So from here, you can, of course, change the size of the application, okay, like so by just you know, drag and dropping. On top of this, you will have the four most recently opened up apps on the side. You have the applications in your dock right here. And you can also add applications from the home screen. So to bring an app into the stage manager view, long press, drag, drop. Okay, and you can do that from anywhere. So if we go to the, uh, uh, the, uh, the notes, long press, drag, drop. And if we want to go from the home screen, you're going to long press, 
drag like this, slide up and hold for multitasking, go into here and then drop. Now in some cases when you do the drag and drop it will force one application in full screen and the other apps disappear. In order to fix that you just slide up like so and now we have all of these four applications available uh, just like that. Now at any time if we want to access the side stage manager view with your finger you can either slide to the left like so to access this view. On top of this the dock will be hidden you can always slide up at any time to access the dock. On top of this you can also if you have the magic keyboard accessory or any trackpad you just slide where the cursor is just keep on sliding to the left okay do multiple strokes and then you can see the side view will be available with the uh, the magic keyboard you can also see that I can resize apps from any corner with touch it's only from the bottom right hand side but with the magic keyboard I can do from the top you know any any side okay that I want to do I can do the resize as you can see right here now of course you can resize however you'd like from the bottom right hand side but you know it's a less effort where you can resize from any side of the app view. Do keep in mind that when you go to multitasking you will see the app pairs right here so all of the four applications are showing up. If we tap on the triple dots you do have the option to place the app in full screen the other apps will still be in the background. You can add another window but again there is a window limit. You can minimize the application which means it will be in the stage manager area or you can close out the application entirely. Now you may have some issues if you have the 11 inch like I do where there isn't really enough screen real estate so let's open up the settings app. From here you're going to select where it says home screen and multitasking and then you're going to tap on stage manager. So if you don't want the dock to show up 24 7 as that does take up some space as you can see right here you can tap on this to turn it off and you will need to slide up like so to access the dock or with your uh, cursor just slide uh, drag down to access the dock like so so it still is accessible but it will be hidden while in use. On top of this if you don't want the recent apps to show up all the time you can also hide this but do keep in mind if there's not enough room the recent apps will already be hidden and of course you can access it at any time by sliding. On top of this we can change the display you know, ratio and this will help with the zoom. So what we can do is we tap on display and brightness and then we scroll to the bottom we have this display zoom and view option. If we tap on this you have the default option which you will most likely have if you tap on more space this will make all of your icons it will make everything smaller and the end result is you will have more screen real estate okay you'll be able to fit more content uh, on the screen this is especially useful for 11 inch ipad pros i have not tested this on 12.9 inch ipad pros but give it a shot and if it's useful you might as well keep it on as i do personally so with that being said thanks for watching if you want to support my content uh, please if you, if you want to buy any iPad Pro accessories uh, buy with my Amazon affiliate link in the description and if you buy with my link I get commission Amazon usually takes bye bye